Hello all, in this video we'll be talking about how to install Drupal 8 on an IIS server. So let's begin. We need to download and install PHP and MySQL. Go to windows.php.net slash download and download the latest zip file. The current latest version is 5.5 and I'll be downloading the VC11 x86 non-thread safe version. Remember that it has to be a non-thread safe file only. Now just download this file and save it somewhere and then go to dave.mysql.com slash downloads slash mysql and here click on mysql installer 5.6 for windows. On this page click on download for the MSI installer and here click on no thanks just start my download. When you will click on this it will start the download. Just save the file somewhere. Now, in the meanwhile, we'll be enabling the IIS service. Open the control panel and go to Programs and Features. Here, click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. In this new window, scroll down and expand the Internet Information Services. In the Web Management Tools, just select it and it would select IIS Management Console. In Worldwide Services, in Application Development Features, select CGI. And in Common HTTP Features, check Default Document, Directory Browsing, HTTP Errors and Static Content. Leave all others as it is and click on OK. Let us wait till this feature gets enabled. Once it's done, open your browser and go to localhost. Here you would find this page. So it confirms that IIS is installed. Now it's time to install PHP. Extract the downloaded file to CPHP folder. Here I have it. Now Open this PHP INI development file in your favorite text editor. We need to make some changes in this file. Go to this link and under the required directive section do all the changes as said. Now I will be depicting you how to do changes. Suppose we want to make this change so copy this and find it. Here it is. Now the change says to uncomment it. So to uncomment it, you can just remove the semicolon from the beginning and set its value to zero as it is said. Set it with its value to zero. Save the file. We have made this change. Similarly make all these changes. I can give you one more demonstration. Suppose to do this change, just copy it, find it, here it is, remove the semicolon and leave its value 1 as said by this file. Remember these 4 changes are very important. We now need to make a few more changes. Here uncomment this line which says extension equals to php underscore gd 2 dot dll uncomment this one which says extension equals to php underscore mb string dot dll and uncomment this one which says extension equals to php underscore pdo underscore mysql dot dll and save your file but notice that this is a development version of our php dot ini so what we need to do is select all the text copy it in a new file and we'll save it in the same folder but we'll call it php.ini save that's it our php.ini is now ready now open the is manager from start menu here select your connection and click on handler mappings click on add module mapping in request path type star.php in module we need fast CGI module 
an executable we'll type c php then php cgi.exe and a name we'll call it php via fast cgi now click on request restrictions here invoke handler we'll check this box and select file or folder now okay okay yes that's it now it's time to install mysql open the mysql installer which you downloaded now click on install mysql products click on execute now click on next we'll go with developer default installation click on next execute next we'll click on execute and we'll wait till all these products get installed you can see that all these products are successfully installed so we'll click on next next yes it's in development machine the port is right and we'll click on next let us type a password and click on next next that's it click on next to continue next finish in the mysql workbench click on local instance now enter the password and ok now click on this little icon to create a new schema we'll call our database as Drupal and we we'll click on apply now it's time to install Drupal so we download the Drupal 8 compressed file go to drupal.org and click on get started with Drupal now click on download Drupal 7.25 we are now on Drupal project page so we can scroll down and click on view all releases here this is the latest 8 version it's called alpha 7 I've downloaded this file and I've placed it here in my init pub www root folder now um, if you extract it here you might get some errors due to lack of administrator privileges so what you can do is that you can extract this file on desktop and you can cut paste here that is move your file from your desktop to this directory so we now have our Drupal folder now when we would try to install Drupal we might get some error so what we are going to do is we are going to rename this web.config file to something like web.config.old now you might want to delete this file but I'm keeping it in case I might need this in future now go to sites folder go to default here create a new folder we'll call it files and copy this default set settings.php here and we'll rename it to settings.php now we need to change the permissions of both these file and folder so right click this file go to properties security edit users and select full control allow apply ok ok do same with files.php properties security edit users full control apply ok ok that's it now from the start menu open up your IS manager I open the IS manager now here select your connection 
go to sites default website you would now be able to see a directory called Drupal select this and click on default document here click on add and we are going to add a default document called index.php now click on ok now we can go to localhost slash Drupal directory to begin the installation click on save and continue select the standard installation profile type the database name as Drupal database username as root password and click on save and continue let us wait till this installation gets complete ok so the Drupal installation is now finished now we need to down download one more thing go to iis.net slash downloads slash microsoft slash url hyphen rewrite scroll down and just download the english version of this file download x86 or x64 i downloaded this one x86 and install it it's pretty straightforward you just need to click on next 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 and that's it now this one more file called web.config in your Drupal directory and that one is created by IIS if you remember we na renamed one to webconfig.old so in the new one just copy this code from this URL drupal.org slash node slash 3854 just copy this code and paste it in that file we'll open it here's my web.config file paste it save it okay now let us continue with our installation let's call a site with drupal on ias site email address username password password and I don't want them to update automatically and check for update automatically and click on save and continue so the installation is now complete click on visit your new site let's log in okay now click on reports click on status report here you can see that Drupal version is 8.0 development version and the web server is Microsoft IAS 7.5 so this was how to install Drupal 8 on Microsoft IAS web server I hope you enjoyed it thank you and have a nice day